Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Our 20-minute interview with Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio could be summarized in less than 20 seconds. He's really sorry. Uh, first off, I want to apologize. First of all, again, I apologize. Again, I apologize. Again, I apologize for my actions. I apologize. I apologize to the officer uh, directly. I admit it was an uh, error, and I apologize. I again apologize. I apologize for my actions. Again, I apologize. I apologize to the officer. And I'll say again, uh, I, I do apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize for it. So again, I apologize. I apologize for what I did. I apologize to him. I apologize to the officer. The so officer. what happened at the Guam barbecue Glock party? The Lieutenant Governor, a former police officer and GPD instructor, says he had about two to three beers, was on his way out when he saw a police officer whose pistol appeared to be unsecured in his holster. But KUAM sources say Tenorio didn't just go up to the officer once but several times. I was not harassing. I was concerned for his public safety and the safety of the other persons who were there. Um, I did what I thought was necessary because it looked to be an unsafe firearm. Former chiefs of police have criticized the lieutenant governor for his actions, saying that he acted recklessly and endangered the public because the firearm could have discharged. But, uh, I should have probably pulled him to the side and said, hey, What's going on with the firearm in the holster? It doesn't look right. On Tuesday, the Guam Police Department confirmed an incident occurred and that it was gathering incident reports, but because no criminal complaint was filed, GPD was moving forward. That changed hours later after a complaint was filed last night by Troy Torres at the Dededo Precinct. Torres alleged the lieutenant governor was drunk, approached Sergeant Carl Cruz from behind, grabbed his gun, and pointed the muzzle at the officer. The two were wrangling over the gun. Sergeant Cruz managed to get it back, but the lieutenant governor allegedly started badgering him. KUAM obtained this surveillance video just moments before the lieutenant governor got into his white SUV to leave. I was concerned about why it came out of the holster and the reason that I saw it look like it might be unsafe. And so I was, in fact, trying to see with the officer uh, whether there was something at fault. Is it the holster? Is it the firearm? Is there something else at miss? And I understand. I didn't mean to embarrass him. Um, I apologize to him and, uh, and to the police officers who were there. I didn't mean to cause any problems, and I take full responsibility for what happened. After Torres filed his complaint just after 1.30 this morning, GPD issued a press release stating it had forwarded its preliminary findings and the complaint to the AG's office for further investigation. The complaint alleges public intoxication, reckless conduct, disorderly conduct, and official misconduct. The AG's office later acknowledged receipt stating it will be thoroughly and independently investigated by the criminal division. As for the lieutenant governor, he'll wait and see what happens, but he's sorry and believes his actions were, quote, well intended. I don't believe a crime was committed. I, I did this for the right reason, to protect public safety and the officer. Uh, I didn't do it to take possession of the firearm. And so, again, I apologize to the officer uh, and to the Guam Police Department and law enforcement in general, the governor, the chief of police, and the people of Guam. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matt Tanani. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.